Hi, Honey Bunny, Susan McGarry here, and I want to give you a quick video of how I glue bales on to pendants. I can do about 15 or 20 at one time, and then I'll move on to the next 15 or 20. Uh, so the first thing I do is set them up in the way that I think they'll be hung. This will be the top of the pendant. And then I flip them over, leaving the top up so I remember which side is up. Okay, now that I have them all flipped over, I have my Dremel tool, any kind of etching tool will do. I put any kind of bit on and just grind a little spot in the top where the bale will be. Then I take a little paper towel and I wet it and I just wipe off the dust from the grinding. Of course, when you're grinding, I want you to wear a mask. You are grinding glass and so you don't want that getting into your lungs. There's no need to dry them. They dry pretty quickly and I don't have to clean them perfectly. You can see there's a little bit of dust on them. Okay, I have 15 pendants. So I've set out 15 bales and I've spaced them far enough apart that the pendants won't touch each other when I glue them on. Also, I turn them at a little bit of an angle because I'm working with my right hand. Okay, I use E6000 and the tip is clogged a little bit. So I just use some craft wire to unclog it. There we go. Okay, I like to keep a fresh, wet paper towel here so I can wipe off the tip if I need to. And now I'm gonna squeeze a little dollop on each one. And as I do it, I wipe it off, cleaning the tip by the tip of the bale. So I'm making sure that there is glue on the entire pad of the bale, but not too much. I don't want to just squish out too much onto the jewelry. Okay, if I were doing many more, I would save this in the wet paper towel. And now I put the sanded part, the part I just ground with the Dremel, onto the bale. Line it up. Oops. Wet paper towel. And when I put these on, I sort of set them a little low and slide them into place. That just makes sure that I get some glue right at the top. Now we start back at the beginning and I turn them over and I make sure that they're set pretty center. Flip it over and leave it that way. You also wanna make sure that your surface is pretty level because while the glue is um, still damp, these will slide around. So you want them pretty flat. So I'm pushing them down, make sure they're right up against the glass and I'm centering them.
Okay, these are ready to go. I'll finish doing all the other pieces I need to do, and then I will let them sit here for 24 hours, just undisturbed, letting the glue cure. And at the end of 24 hours, I will turn on my oven at 270 degrees Fahrenheit about, and once the, once the oven's up to temperature, I will put them in and let them heat for 20 minutes. Heat all of them for 20 minutes. I've never noticed a difference whether I heat them this way or heat them this way, doesn't matter. And then turn off the oven, take them out and let them cool to room temperature at least 30 minutes, um, longer if possible. And then they're ready to wear. They becomes one of the strongest bale glues I've ever used. So I hope this helps you when you have to glue some bales. Thanks for watching. Be cool, honey bunnies. Bye.